Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bianca and today we're going to be talking about something a bit more different. We're going to take a look at a business case and we're going to translate that into a machine learning problem. Maybe a problem your manager is going to bring up to you. So the case we're going to be talking about today is the famous cell phone churn problem. And I believe this has also been a Kaggle competition a couple of years ago. So basically the main idea behind it is the fact that people that have cell phones, they often change carriers when they can find a better deal somewhere else. And this is called churn. Well, now you may be wondering why do companies want to look into this problem? Well, keeping aside the fact that the company is losing customers, it is much more expensive for a company to acquire a new customer in comparison to keeping an old one. So this is why it is very important to know when a customer is about to churn because this way the company can find a promotion, an offer, something to entice the customer into staying with them. All right, so now that we have defined our problem, I have downloaded a data set from Kaggle and I will link it down below and let's get started. All right, so here we are. So after you downloaded the data set, assuming that you already have installed NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and all the libraries that you need for this exercise, we can move on into this tutorial. So for this exercise, I'm using Python 3.6, and as a text editor, I'm using Spider. All right, so let's take a look. Import uh, NumPy as an P. I'm going to import pandas as well. Okay, so now that we have imported all of the libraries that we want for this exercise, we're going to move on to actually reading the data. And we're going to do that by using the pandas library. And I'm just going to name a variable called data pd.readcsv and now our data is called telco let's get rid of this okay so this is how you read data in pandas let's take a look at it Okay, wow, so it actually looks a bit cumbersome for now. And remember, if you have a very, very big data set, I don't recommend you do this. I recommend you do print data dot head so you can only see the first part of it. And let's do it like that. And now it looks a bit better, but still quite intense. So let's get a bit of an idea of what the information on it, it looks like. And I'm going to do that by print data that info. And I'm just going to comment the previous one so we can have an idea. And we can see that it is still a bit cumbersome, but we have an idea that the data has 7,043 rows and 21 columns. That's quite a bit when it comes to exploratory data analysis. So usually when you have so many columns, you can either drop some of them or you can actually select some of the ones that you're interested in. And today we're just going to select some of the columns that we want to look into. And for me, after taking a look at the data, uh, I have decided to go with gender, churn and contract. And we're going to see why. So I'm going to name a new variable, which is going to be new data. And it's going to go like data. And contract. And this is our new data frame. So let's see how it looks like. And I'm going to go print new data. Let's see. Okay. So now it looks a bit better. Now we get a better idea of what we're dealing with. But this is still not enough. So let's move forward. I'm just going to comment the new date. Then I'm going to do print new data that describe. And 
in parentheses, and let's see. So here we have a count, we have a frequency, we also have a number of how many unique contracts or churns we've had. Okay, now that we know this, let's actually try to visualize all of this. So I'm just gonna comment this. I'm gonna clear my console and let's make a histogram. And I want to look at contract. And then we get none, let's get rid of that. And in order to be able to see the plot you just made, we have to do plt.show. All right, there we go. I know it looks a little bit more, so let's just save that image. Take a look, let's take a look. So we have three types of contracts. We have one that is month to month, one year and two years. And we can see that the most predominant one here is very clear. That is the month to month contract. And this might be actually one of the reasons why people churn so much. But let's take a look and actually get a percentage of how many people have churned in the past. So I'm going to name a new variable, whole percentage, new data. Let's take a look at churn. Dot value counts. Normalize equals true because we want to see the percentage. And now let's take a look and see how many people churn. Okay, so we can see that 26% of people churned in the past, while 73 didn't. So that's an okay percentage. But let's take a look at what type of contracts are there. What is the percentage of contracts? Because that was quite of a big difference. Okay, so we have the month-to-month -month contract to 55%, then two year to 24, and one year to 20. Okay, so this gives us a pretty good idea with what type of data we're dealing with. And I do suspect that the month-to-month -month contract is going to play a very big role when it comes to our feature selection. So stay tuned for that. All right, everybody, so this was it for today. We have done a little bit of exploratory data analysis. And next week, we're going to move on to feature selection and actually building our model. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.